Hi, boys and girls. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great, and I am getting ready to do an awesome art project. I'm going to make a rainbow. I know, rainbows are the best. Now, I don't have my usual art supplies that I have at school. I have a little bit of paper, a little bit of paint, and a little bit of other stuff. So I'm going to kind of see what I can find at my house to make my rainbow with. Do you guys want to help me make it? Awesome. All right, let's see what I found. Here are some of the materials I have. So I have some construction paper, just a little scrap piece. I have an orange crayon. I found a piece of yarn. Let's see how we can use that. I've got some markers. I've got a little bit of paint, but not too much. This marker was a little bit dry, so I put it in some water. We're gonna see what happens with that. And I also have a couple silly items. I have a plastic fork and a potato masher. Let's see how we can use this stuff to get started. I think to start, we'll start with the red paper. All right, for the first color for red, we're gonna use this piece of scrap paper. Now, instead of cutting it, I'm gonna just rip it. I'm gonna rip it into little tiny pieces. And each piece, I'm just gonna put on my paper. And I'm gonna make them kind of form the first arc. So we've gotta rip, rip, rip. Can you guys help me? Can you guys get your ripping fingers ready? All right, let's rip them. Woo, I dropped one. Rip, rip. Rip. Oh, I think we need one more, maybe two more pieces. Now you can glue these right down, lay them right on here and make your first arc of your beautiful rainbow. Good job guys. All right, the next color after red in my rainbow is gonna be orange. So I have an orange crayon, so I think for this one, I think I might just color it. I think I might just color right next to the red and make another little arc right there. What do you think? I have my red arc and I have my orange arc. Time for our next color, yellow. All right, we did the first two arcs. We did a red arc. We did an orange arc. What is the next color? Yellow, you got it. I have got a little bit of yellow paint right here ready to use. And do you know what I think we should use? Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna need you guys' help. I've got a fork. I've got a piece of yarn. And I've got my potato masher. What do you think I should use next? Hmm. I think you're right. We've got to use the fork. Action. All right, guys. So we're going to use this fork. And we're going to just kind of pat it on the paint. And then I'm just going to make my arc like this. This is pretty fun. I like the way it feels. And you can make it smooth like this. Or you can make it like little stripes. I think I want to do both. Beautiful. Okay, we did red, we did orange, we did yellow. Do you know what we've got to do now? We've got to stand up and shake our bodies. Everybody stand up, stand up. All right, find a spot where you can move, where you can groove, where you're not going to bump into anyone. Are you guys ready? All right, the first thing we need to do is some rainbow stretches. So we start over on one side and we stretch all the way up to the other side. All right, let's go all the way back. All the way back. Good job, let's do it one more time. Start over on one side and stretch all the way up, 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 on your tippy toes, and then over to the other side. Oh, all the way back, ready? All the way back. Great stretching. All right, guys, now I have a special mission for you. I want you to think about what is your favorite color in the whole rainbow. It could be anything. It could be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. It could even be pink or silver or gold. It can be any color. All right, think about it, think about it. All right, now, I want you guys to tell me what is your favorite color? Say it loud. Oh my goodness, those were so many favorite colors. Good job. All right, now you have a special mission. What I need you to do is I need you to go and you're gonna look around the room and find one thing that's your favorite color and touch it. And then you're gonna run back. Are you ready? All right, one, two, three, go find your favorite color. Go find it, see where it is in your room. It might be on a book, it might be on a toy, it might be on a pillow. Look around, see with your eyes. Good job, did you touch it? Great work, come on back, come on back. Very 
good, guys. That was awesome. Very good job. All right, guys. We did red, orange, yellow. We shook our bodies. And now we've got to get to one of my favorite colors, which is green. All right. Now I have a little bit of paint for green. And do you know what else I have? I have this green piece of yarn. So I was thinking maybe I should use this green piece of yarn. Do you want to see how I'm going to use it? All right. Let's do it together. Okay, so we've got green paint and then I have my green string. And the cool thing about strings is you can use them to make art and you just have to have kind of careful fingers. You kind of put it in the, in the paint and it might be a little messy. So you have to make sure it's okay. You get a little messy on your hands. And then you know what you can do? You just kind of, you can hold it with two hands or you can hold it on each end and you can kind of just drag it around, see where it goes. It might make a little loop it might go around this way let's see hmm, let's add a little bit more even oh look at that and you can kind of let it go all the way around and you know what if it goes into the yellow that's okay this is about making a rainbow any way we want and it does not have to be just right all right we did red we did orange, we did yellow, we did green. It's time for one of my other favorite colors, the color blue. Now, do you know what? Sometimes at school, we forget to put the tops back on the markers. And sometimes at my house, we also forget to put the tops on the markers and they get kind of dry. And when I try to color with them, it doesn't really look that good. So you know what? I had a blue marker but it wasn't working. So I put it in a little bit of water and this is a way, if your moms and dads want to, that they can make a little bit of paint out of markers when they're old and dry. You wouldn't put a regular marker in, but if it's dried out and it doesn't work, it will make it start to work again. And look what color it even turned the water. It even turned the water light blue. And now I can use it with a paintbrush or just with this to paint the next arc of my rainbow. All right, let's do it. So I have my blue water and I have my watercolor. Now again, you could use a paintbrush, but I'm just gonna use my marker. And look at that, it makes a really cool swirly design. So I'm gonna make a little arc under here that's blue. And you know what? I might even put some blue over here too, because I might wanna make some clouds or some sky. When you're making art, you can kind of make it any way you want, which is why it's fun. These are very fun to work with and they make it look like watercolor paint. Great. Okay, we are at the very end of our rainbow. We did red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and now it's time for purple. But I didn't have any purple crayons or purple markers or purple paint. What am I gonna do? Well, luckily I had some blue paint and I had some red paint and I mixed them together and I made my own purple paint. What do you think about that? Amazing. Now, I've got one more tool that we have not used to paint with. And do you know what it is? Do you remember from the beginning? It's my potato masher. How silly is this? This is what I use if I'm cooking, if I make mashed potatoes like at Thanksgiving. But today, I am going to use it to paint with and make the last little tiny arc in the center of our rainbow. Let's go. Okay, I mixed up my purple paint. It's looking beautiful and I've got my potato masher. So now I've just got to get it on here and I can kind of stamp it like a stamp, get it nice and painty, and then I can stamp it right inside. And again, it might get on top of the blue. It might get on top of the other colors. That's okay. This rainbow looks amazing. Thank you guys so much for helping me make it. Which arc is your favorite? I think my favorite was the potato masher one. That was the most fun for me to do, I think. I also like the watercolor one. That was pretty fun too. And it came out looking really great. You guys did an amazing job helping me make my rainbow. I had so much fun. Did you guys have a good time too? Awesome. Thanks for helping me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And if you guys make some rainbows, send them over to me. Send pictures to your teachers. I can't wait to see them. All right, see ya.